Our next candidates are the candidates for the Lake County Treasurer. The Lake County Treasurer's Office safeguards taxpayer cash in the possession of the Lake County government through honest and competent stewardship by actively managing banking relationships and by investing temporary surpluses. Further, the Lake County Treasurer's Office, as the ex officio county collector, will bill, collect, and distribute real estate taxes to Lake County taxing bodies in a timely and efficient manner, providing excellent customer service to taxpayers by telephone, internet, and direct personal contact. The candidates running for Lake County Treasurer are Glenn Ryback, who is, uh, Ryback, who is the Democrat, and David Stolman, who is the Republican. Uh, when they drew lots, David Stolman uh, uh, drew number one, so he will be giving the first opening statement. And Mr. Stolman, you have one and a half minutes. Thank you very much. I appreciate the being allowed to come here tonight. Um, it's an honor to be here with all of you, and thank you for staying so late. Uh, thank you to the participants, and also thank you to the hosts for tonight. Uh, my name is David Stallman. A little bit uh, about me, uh, I come from uh, immigrant parents. Um, I was college educated at the University of Illinois, DePaul Law School. Uh, I've been an attorney since 1973, uh, an entrepreneur, a businessman, uh, and I got elected uh, first uh, in the county board in 1992. The county board is a, a single member district at that point in time. I was lucky enough to be elected. I've been elected ever since then. Um, I rose to the ranks in, in uh, Lake County uh, by exhibiting leadership, and the board presidents at the time uh, acknowledged that, and I served in various capacities, including chairman of finance, uh, most notably uh, vice chair of the county board, and I just recently uh, finished my tenure as county board chairman. It enabled me to see county budgets working, uh, uh, work, working actually, I, I, I kid around, but it wasn't really true, 29 hours a day, nine days a week. Uh, the fact of the matter is, uh, we balanced the county budget, uh, we have a AAA bond rating, uh, I've been an administrator uh, all of my life, and uh, I would ask for your support with regard to uh, working for me for treasurer. Thank you. Thank you. Glenn Ryback? I, I, uh, I'm Glenn Ryback, your candidate for Lake County Treasurer. I also was elected in 1993. The treasurer's office handles over $2 billion annually. It requires an astute management style. It also requires innovative and advanced technology to track all those funds. Right now, where is that technology? I don't see it. This is a serious position and it requires a serious approach. We need to stop discouraging electronic payments with punitive fees. Yes, the current system actually discourages electronic payments by assessing fees. The cost is high to process checks. Now uh, they currently have a lockbox system in place and that system works fine for checks, but it's expensive to operate. It's a demonstrable difference from ACH. Incidentally, did you know that check fraud is the largest fraud in the US? If we haven't been struck yet, we're just lucky. The FBI estimates annual losses at 14 billion dollars. Thank you. The first question will be answered first by Glenn Ryback, and the question is, what cost savings measures would you implement when you take office? The current operations are not up to date. We can't afford old systems. We can't continue to do the same old thing. Tradition may be fine at a country club, but this is a professional operation needing better cost control and management. As the mayor, I manage revenue, expenses, staff, press, employees, and constituent questions. This not only qualifies me, but has prepared me perfectly for this position. Thank you. Mr. Stolman? I can remember when cashing uh, county checks took about six weeks. Uh, it is now six days. You know, technology evolves continually. It is one of the most efficient, effective offices. Uh, Bob Skidmore has done a terrific job. He's a man of 
high integrity, a great administrator, he's below budget. Uh, the fact of the matter is I've helped work on the budget for almost 20 years. Uh, there's a lot of, obviously, technology that will come to light. Uh, the reality is I think that the treasurer's job is doing a terrific job. At this point in time, it's over 99% uh, collection of taxes. Uh, the reality is, are there any fees that are being charged? Yes. Can they be charged to the taxing bodies? No. Uh, if the taxpayer has to pay for it. You can pay by check free. Uh, credit cards do cost money. I think it's 2.3%. Uh, and people are charged that. Why they do that? Or have for miles. Whatever the story may be, there's a, a, a number of ways that obviously technology will come into fold for the next four years. Thank you. Next question will be answered first by Mr. Stallman. The question is, how will you improve transparency about the county's finances to the public? Well, I'm glad you asked that. I was the as county board chairman. I actually put the county checkbook online. Uh, people were astonished by that. Uh, my attitude was I didn't want to constantly get FOIAs. Uh, I said, if you want to find out where your money is going, what better way than find out what vendors are getting paid? I believe that a, a complete general ledger should be put online so that you see the analysis from every single department, from every single committee. The more the taxpayers know where their money is going, the better they will be educated, and obviously they'll be able to figure out what needs need to, need to be addressed. So the fact of the matter is, uh, I believe in complete transparency. Thank you. Mr. Ryback? One has to be careful with how much is put online these days with the amount of hacking that's in, in force. And putting a general ledger online I agree it would be a good idea, but it's not 1968 anymore. There are measures that we can put in place to inform the public of what we're spending. Uh, those measures need to be, they need to be secure. And uh, that's part of my plan as the four month or six, four to six month analysis of the department is uh, completed. Thank you. Uh, Third question will be answered first by Mr. Ryback. The question is, what if any, any changes should be um, made to the county's current investment strategies? Investment is very important. I have developed a task set for that. Let me share it with you. I'd analyze cash flow for effectiveness and efficiency. I'd run a diagnostic on all work processes. I'd review staffing requirements, eliminate duplication of workflow, and protect assets, but maximize investment returns. Make no mistake about it, the protection of the of taxpayers' funds are the most important thing. I would be less concerned about a return on the investment. There used to be banks that were paying returns. Banks don't want to even take the business anymore because it's costing them money and they're not getting paid back for it. There's a major bank that actually is not going to be part of our, our uh, uh, tax collection service. Why? Keep on asking them why. Well, the bottom line is it's costing them money and they don't care whether customers are coming in or not for good customer service. They're not going to be part of the system. So, yeah, so I guess the next four years, there's going to be a real concern with regard to investments. The investment policy is set by the county board. I've helped develop that. The fact of the matter is that preservation of assets is the most important thing. You are by requirement and by law not allowed to go out and do adventurous things with regard to investments. It has to be secure. And liquidity is very important because the, as money comes in, money has to go out. Our treasurer office pays very, very quickly. Everything is done electronically no matter what is being said tonight. And the bottom line is that money gets paid out quickly so that the taxing bodies, the schools, and Thank you. park districts Thank don't you. have to go out and... and, and, uh, and Thank you. Uh, the next question is, what reforms could you bring to the Lake County Treasurer's Office? And Mr. Stolman, will I answer first? I, I think the uh, Treasurer's Office is being, held, uh, being, being uh, administered properly. I don't think there's any reforms that are needed. Uh, I think that the amount of money is being collected are 99.9%. Uh, when in fact uh, uh, the buddies are not being collected, there are tax sales, and those tax sales, the investors come in, quote unquote investors come in, and buy the property so that the taxing bodies, the schools, libraries, uh, villages are actually getting paid. 
what happens is uh, in those rare instances where there are tax sales, uh, the, the investor charges a premium and for two and a half years uh, uh, floats the deal. So uh, the reality is that there's, uh, Treasurer's Office is doing a great job. It's under, under budget with regard to uh, the county budget and it's under a personnel budget with regard to the county budget. Thank you. Mr. Rogak? My point would be that the office is way behind the times. You know, some of the fundamentals of the treasurer is that he's obligated to do no harm, to minimize costs, maximize returns, and you have to provide accountability and proper audit controls, which are all geared toward risk control. To maximize investments, operations must be done rapidly. That equals fast. Never allow funds to sit in an account. The money must be worked. Money is a fungible asset. It must be managed well, not just by protecting it, but working it. Thank you. The uh, next question, um, I think part of it was covered during my introduction, but the question submitted is, how much is the treasurer paid and what are the key duties of the treasurer? And Mr. Ryback, um, you would answer first, please. I, I believe the treasurer is paid something above six figures. The duties of the treasurer are to collect taxes, like real estate taxes, inheritance taxes, all sorts of permit fees and, and money that's owed to the county and to pay all the bills and expenses of the county. Thank you, Mr. Stolman. All of the county uh, officers, sheriff, uh, clerk, clerk of the courts, everyone is paid consistently the same exact amount of money. What does the treasurer do? The treasurer actually sends out about 260,000 bills and is a collector and it is $2.2 billion at this point in time that the treasurer collects and disperses quickly to the various taxing sources. Let's look at all the different levels of government. If you look at your tax bill, and there needs to be a little more transparency with regard to that. You have school districts, you have library districts, you have villages, you have uh, fire, pretend, uh, fire districts, you have mosquito abatement districts. They put in their uh, uh, money the request, the collection comes in, the treasurer turns it around extraordinarily quickly and puts the money out quickly to them. By, by law, the treasurer is required to do within 30 days. There are times where the treasurer does it on a weekly basis to make sure that the taxing bodies get their money quickly. That's called liquidity, so that they don't have to go out and borrow money. Thank you. Mr. Stolman? That, that wasn't Mr. Stolman. I'm sorry. Um, the um, fi final question before we go to the closing statements, uh, and it will be answered first by Mr. Uh, Stolman, is why do you think you're qualified to do a better job than your opponent? I have prepared budgets for the county for the last 18 years of my 20 years on the county board. Uh, I balanced the county budget, which is a rarity. Uh, you look at the county, it's an oasis. Uh, you look at the state government, you look at the federal government, we are far different than them. We are, we are not dysfunctional. So you should be very, very proud of what we have. Um, we have a AAA bond rating. I was instrumental in getting that AAA bond rating, and it's difficult to keep the AAA bond rating. I've been an administrator. I've been an entrepreneur. Uh, I'm a, an attorney by profession. Uh, but bottom line is I have been a, a just a, a, a talent that I brought to the county board. It's been an honor and privilege with regard to representing the people. I've done it extraordinarily well and would like to continue doing it as treasurer. Thank you. Mr. Ryback? As I said earlier, spending nearly eight years as the mayor and the chief operating officer of a village, I've probably needed to address just about everything that comes along. And I believe this perfectly qualifies me for this position. Thank you. We'll now move to the one minute closing statements and uh, Glenn Ryback will begin and you have one minute. Well, first of all, thanks to the League of Women Voters and the groups that have brought us here this evening for giving the residents the opportunity to hear from the next Lake County Treasurer. I want your vote, and here is why. As I've stated, this is a serious job requiring a serious approach. 
It involves human resources, disbursements, investments, and expense control. All of this is crucial to financial solvency. I bring managerial experience as a mayor. I bring a fresh perspective and an innovative approach. I have a working plan to accomplish goals immediately. I have given you my plan to be effective from day one, and I want to be your treasurer. Thank you. Mr. Stolman, you have one minute for a closing statement. In addition to the prescribed duties uh, set forth by treasurer, I, I am, first of all, physically responsible. I've been a physically responsible voice on the county board uh, since I've been elected. Uh, I plan on being an ambassador for economic development. Uh, continue that. I know earlier uh, there were some nice tributes paid to me. I was a uh, uh, one of the uh, chairman of the Blue Ribbon Committee for the study of the Route 53. Uh, I plan on uh, exposing, and again, being a, an ambassador for economic development, I help formulate Lake County Partners, which is our public-private development. All of this is able to be done. I've done that before. I've served on uh, federal uh, steering committees while at the same time as being county board. So clearly there's a prescribed duty for being treasurer, and in addition to that, I bring value added to the table. I need your vote. I need your vote. Uh, to, to carry forth with us. Thank you very much. Thank you, and I'd like to thank our candidates for uh, Lake County Treasurer, Glenn Ryback and David Stoller.